Georgia's giant pack gave them an early lead against the army. It wasn't pretty, but it was effective as they rumbled over the try line with mighty prop Carlin Asashvili touching the ball down. Second try for the visitors soon followed. A mistake by the army allowed Georgian fly half Lasha Karmeladze to punt ahead and burly winger George Sinkin dived in for the points. Despite some stoic defending from the home side in the face of unyielding brawn, they could do little to prevent Georgia powering further in front. By half-time, the men from the Caucasus were in complete control. But two tries after the break brought the army back into the match. Ben Saru led the revival when he surged clear from his own half. Hauled down by a scrambling defence, support for the winger arrived and Pasili Nakamavutu cantered home. While Georgia's trademark is raw power, the army's mercurial Fijian fly half's attributes are subtle. His show and go created a gap just big enough to see him cross over for a try. A fourth try for Georgia took the game away from the army, but the forces side had the final say. Denny Dili Tamana ghosted in from the kickoff and rounded off a spirited display by the servicemen against the side who will face England and Scotland at the Rugby World Cup. Clearly you want to win, but we've got to be really realistic in our expectations, and that's just another stepping stone. Um, tough challenge in the inter-services, you know, the RAF are, are going to give us a good game, and then obviously the Navy on the 7th of May, but yeah, we're, we're pleased with the preparations so far. The Army now head to Portugal, where they will finalise preparations ahead of next month's inter-services championship. Julian Evans, Forces News, Gloucester.